Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Gemma Summer and I usually do a lot of Disney content, whether that be Disney hauls, Disney vlogs, Disney styling, lots of Disney. But I wanted to come on my YouTube and talk about something completely different. It's actually something I do a lot of on my TikTok and something that I've really gotten into over the last quite a few months and that is surprise toys so i open a lot of surprise toys whether it be disney ones and normal ones over on my tiktok so i thought i would do a video of a few of my favorite surprise toys and favorite brand toys at the minute i will do a separate video if you are a disney fan and you just want to know about disney surprise toys because there are a few of those that have done super well over on my tiktok and i thought i would share them on my youtube channel with you too i will leave in the description a link so you can go watch that video of the disney surprise toys as well so first up i want to share micro packs and i did previously share these all over on my tiktok if you don't follow me i'll leave a link down below it's just gemma summer i'm gemma summer everywhere so these are called micro packs and they have six mini collectibles inside they're also very similar to the real littles and i have picked up a real littles handbag which i've not opened yet that will be on my tiktok but i thought i would show you the micro pack because these are the ones that i bought and these are the ones that i think it easier to find for me so i actually got these in asda but i've also seen them in sainsbury's too so these range from like five pound to three pound i did see them in sainsbury's recently on sale for three pound and as you can get them for five pounds so kind of pricey but they're really cute they're collectible and they are addictive because it's a mystery you don't know what you're going to get inside now i do have the original packaging it's got all my mini brands stacked in but i will show you the back of it just to show you exactly what the packaging looks like so that is the back of the micro packs packaging it shows there that you can get six mini collectibles and they're the sort of ones you can choose from and you can also pop it onto your backpack as well and that is the sign that you'll be looking for in the shops when you're going to look for a micro pack so let me show you inside this little mini backpack so this is the first micro pack i picked up it actually has little backpack straps there so it's so cute and then it has this little clip here so you can actually fit it on the back of a backpack if you wanted to but this is what was inside this one so this is how it comes and i'll take them out and you can see exactly what we got in here so the first thing i pulled out of the mini backpack were these little mini pencils they are real they do draw so they're really cute and then we also had a little folder in this one so you can write some notes pop it in here and I really loved these. So these are actually little envelopes, but you can actually write on them. There's like a piece of paper inside. So let me just get this one out. And then inside you have a little note. So you can write with your little pencils and pop it in your envelope. Next we have a little mini ruler. And then every single one so far that I've had always comes with tape. So it's actual sticky tape. It genuinely works. And this is the blue one. And then lastly, we had a little eraser next up is the backpack which matches my nails it's the mini backpack in silver again you've got the straps you've got the clip and this is what we had inside this one so as you can see it looks completely different so we actually got some stickers in this one we did get another folder although it's a different design i actually stuck this in here and there's the tape me sticking the tape in there just to show you that it works we got some crayons in here. This is really cute. This is actually a highlighter. And there is the highlighter. And it actually does work because that's why I wrote the high in that. And we have some little heart sticky notepads. And these do actually come off there. So they actually work, which is cute. And then lastly, again, like the other one, we did have some tape, but we had it in green this time. And it works, which I think is really cute. So some cute sticky tape. So that's the mini backpacks. I hope you love seeing inside those. I don't know if I'm gonna get any more of those. I think I might wait till another season comes out, another series come out. But next up, next up I wanna talk about Bloom Flower Pot Girls. I only came across these recently. Again, I got these in Asda. They were around just under £10, but I've also seen them elsewhere for £10 exactly, but they were just under £10 in Asda. So these I actually looked up, I watched the actual YouTube video of how they work, because with a surprise toy you want to know if it's just opening it up and you're like, oh it's a surprise. I like things that you actually have to work to get as a surprise toy, and this you definitely do. So this is how it works, it's got 10 surprises inside, 
just add water so you get a little mini watering can which i'll show you in the up close video and a new friend will bloom before your eye you just get your mini watering can and you pop it on the top of this flower pot and the doll will literally sprout from the soil it's literally insane sometimes they're really slow at popping up sometimes they literally fly out and it's so cool because you don't know which doll you're gonna get so they actually do do color changing and they change colors and you get lots of accessories in there to dress them as well. So I have opened one of these for TikTok. It didn't catch it blooming, so I've got another one so I can film that for TikTok too. So if you do want to see it bloom, head to TikTok, Gemma Summer. I'll leave it down below. So let me show you this one up close and let me show you the doll that we got in this particular pot. So these are what the Bloom Flower Pot Girls look like inside the pack. So this is actually series two. And you literally just add water to see who blooms. And there's 10 surprises inside. So this is a real good one. And I said the price of it earlier, but I'll tell you again. It's like 9 dollars in Asda, but I saw it in today in Tesco for £10. So it also changes colour in the sun. So that's before, that's after. And it includes a doll with matching accessories. So that's really cute. You get to build your own doll. But the coolest thing about this is that it literally balloon so you water the top and it sprouts up i did film one for my tiktok and i will be filming this one for my tiktok so if you want to see it because it blew my mind go check there but let me show you the one that we got in the other pack so this was the doll that bloomed from my other bloom dolls and the hair is squishy and she's really cute the skirt keeps falling down but this is her outfit she came with the top this skirt and the shoes there's the back of her and she also comes with the watering can so that you can water her to bloom her she came with a handbag accessory and then also with a little friend too so you do get instructions showing you exactly how to do it and it, li it literally just pops up like this it's so cool and you just pull her out pop open the little flower pot and that's where you get all your little outfits from and you can actually tick off what outfits you have we have this one down here and if you flip this open you actually see which ones you have to choose from and there's like different rarities so you've got a two star you've got a one star this is a five star and look how stunning this one is i'd love this one and i think this is our one here because she's got the same hair as this one so she was a two star and we also got her little friend which is called sandy down here so we'll see which one we get in this one but i'm really hoping we get this one or this one's really cool or any of these do you know what they're all just so sweet so i really love that that's a great toy to give to someone if you want to see something oh her skirt's falling down if you want to see something just pop up honestly it all of a sudden waters and goes from and i would film it for youtube but i'm definitely going to film this one for tiktok just because it's so cool so hopefully you can see from that like it's fairly straightforward but i think kids would love this i genuinely love this i thought it was so cool the way it popped up and you can collect them all and tick them off on here too so we got nina and it was in the two star one so it wasn't like a proper common one but it wasn't like a super rare one either but this is so cute definitely would recommend this because it is a very good surprise doll it's a very good surprise toy and you get lots of extras so you can actually dress your doll and you can collect quite a few so this is actually series two of this one series one i think has been and gone I did see them in Argos for £2, but that was in like one store far away. But this is series two and you can get this one in Asda. Okay, so next up, I don't have them because I've opened them, but they are mini brand toys. So I will show you my little mini brand toy shopping trolley. So I did actually get this in one of my balls and I got two of these actually. I've got two shopping trolleys. So these are the next surprise toys. Mini Brands has been such a big phenomenon on TikTok. I kind of find it on there. It's like a really big thing. And I did get on the hype. I did buy quite a few mini brands, which I will show you later on in this video. But I thought I would go for mini brand toys. So a load of people ask me where I can find toy mini brands when I put it on my Instagram story the other week. Mini brands seem to be easier to find nowadays but toy mini brands seem to be hard but this is where i managed to find them obviously we're in a lockdown in the uk right now and i managed to find them in asda but since i've been back to asda two or three times since picking them up i haven't found them again so they came in and they pretty much went straight out but they, but they do have the original mini brands um unicorn mini brands and unicorn fairy mini brands but they didn't have any toy ones since i've 
bought these two balls. So I will show you a little up close opening of which ones I got. Obviously I don't have the balls to open because those videos are going straight onto TikTok as always as I do all my toy openings on there but I will show you inside the balls on what I got because there was some really good ones. So I picked up two balls, they're £7 each, all of them are £7. They also had the boy versions, you know the green and black one, I don't know what that one is because I wouldn't ever pick that one up but they did have that one in as the two. Another place I've seen mini brands is in Tesco. So first up we got a Jojo Siwa doll and I think this is so cool because I used the Love Dance Mums and obviously it's a real doll that you can get in America, you can do her hair and this is the toy version that we got in toy, mini toy brands. So let's pop that in the trolley. We then got the Unicorn Squad mini brand bull which i am so hyped about i don't collect unicorn squad mini brands um but i was so happy to get an actual mini brand bull because it looks exactly like the one in the shop all of them do but i just think that's really cute so that's the one we got second we got some crayola the 64 color crayons and that's the top and this is the back i really like this because i know a lot of american toys we don't necessarily have but we definitely have these and a lot of people ask are there crayons inside there's not there's literally nothing inside then we got a rainbow corns and i've never actually used one of these or opened one of these but i always see them in the shop so i was quite happy to get one of these because i think it's really cute and i definitely have seen it in store so i feel like yes this is a really cool toy to get in my mini brands next up we got tommy from the rugrats and it actually says it says it's a tommy poseable figure so i'm assuming in america they actually have these as toys because i don't think we do here not that i've seen anyway but there he is and I really love that because I loved watching the Rugrats when I was little. Next up we got a Pets Alive. I have seen these in the shop. Really cool. I don't own any of them but I have seen them so this was cool to get. And I think it's the little llama. So it does actually shake and it dances and stuff so that's cute. Then the next two were these from the Blaze Speedway. So we got a striped little car. It's from Nickelodeon. I have no idea what that is. And then we also got this ready to roll Blaze Speedway. I think it's not also another car that you build. But I don't have these in the UK, I don't think. And I've not seen the show, if it's a show. So these are the two, like, boy ones I got that I didn't really know about. So that is actually two balls together. So one ball had this um, trolley in and the other ball had this trolley in. And these are my lots. So like I said before, I got these from Asda. Oh, there goes the Crayola. But I got these from Asda. And since I have picked these up, I haven't seen them back in there. They do have the original mini brands, but they don't have the toy mini brands. So I hope you liked seeing inside the mini brands just then. I really do love opening these. And there's so many good ones to collect. So we got two trolleys in these. And we got like the really cool unicorn mini brand ball, which I was saying that you can get actually in Asda. So if you want to do, you can go get one to match. And they also do the mini brand toy version of this that you can get in the balls as well. So those I think are really good because if you're looking for mystery toys you get five mysteries inside there. They're by the brand called Zuru and like I said super easy to find at the minute in the supermarkets. I think you can also probably get them in Smith's Toys and the Entertainer, um, maybe Amazon too but Asda is a great place to go find them if that's what you're looking for. We currently only have Series 1 of mini brands out in the UK. I know Series 2 came out at the end of last year, I think, in America. They have a gold packaging, whereas our Series 1 have a white packaging. So that's what you'll be looking for if you're from the UK. So the next surprise toy I'm going to show you is probably one of my favourite ones. I think it was around when maybe a lot of people were younger, but I really do not remember it. And it is Surprise Eggs. So I picked these two different ones because they're two different ones in size and two different ones inside the actual egg can hear this one it's got something in it but i do share a lot of these over on my tiktok so this one in particular is a purple one i do also have this in pink i have lots of other different colored ones there for me it's not so much of a mystery because i kind of know what's going to be in it because it has a tag on it but you don't know which one you're going to get so at christmas i got myself a red one i got it from a garden center of all places it was from a garden center you can find it on my tiktok it's um just swiped down a little bit it's a red egg and it had a buddy the elf in it but there was four elves to choose from two green two red two boy two girls so you don't know which one you're going to actually get so this one in particular says it's a mermaid and fairies growing mermaid and fairy egg so you actually pop this in water leave it a good 
day, two days, it starts to hatch, another four, another 72 hours I think it is, it actually fully hatches. And once it hatches, you can then leave it in water even longer because they actually grow massive. And I'm addicted to these, I love these, I also will put these in the Disney video because there are some Disney ones that I have found too. But yeah, like I said, this is a mermaid and fairy one, we don't know which one we're going to get. And then I thought I'd show you this one, and this is the Dino World Mini Dino Hatching Egg. So you know it's going to be a dinosaur, but what dinosaur, I don't know. These were a pound. They're only small, so like you can see the size comparison. But these were a pound in like the pound section of Asda. So really cool. They were there. I haven't seen them since, but I did pick up two. I picked up a purple one and an orange one. And these ones I just found in a toy shop before lockdown, just a local toy shop. If you just check out your local toy shops, when they open up, you should be able to find them. There'll be lots of different versions. You can get a mermaid ones, fairies, unicorns. Um, lots of different things will be hatching from these eggs. But if you want to see how they do hatch and what's inside them, then go check out my TikTok because they grow massive in size and they're all slimy and strange. But let me show you these up close, although there's not much to see for these up close. So these are what they look like up close. They literally come in so many different colours. So obviously this is a purple one, but I also have it in pink. And this says it's a mermaid and fairy. So it grows a mermaid and a fairy in the egg. So I think you get one or the other. And it just literally shows you how to do it. So you add water. You leave it 24 to 48 hours. And then after 72 hours, it does actually crack open and it comes out. But she also grows massive. So... I really love doing these. These do so well on my TikTok. People love to see them. And these are one of my favourite surprise eggs to do. Like, the surprise eggs are my favourite things to do. And I also found them in a smaller version. And this is the Dino World Mini Dino Hatchlings. These ones I found in Asda. They were like a pound. I picked up two of them. But they're not going to be massive, like how these can turn huge. But that is what it looks like up close and it's just exactly the same you pop it in the water and it hatches the price for these ones vary a pound 250 depends where you get them from but i think this one was like two pound or a pound so i got two of them so that was a good deal for me the next surprise toy i haven't actually opened yet so i can't give it a big big review but i have seen them and i think it looks like a really cool surprise toy and i'm so excited to open this on tiktok and share it with you but i thought i would share it with you now because i think i'm going to film this straight after this video so it is the I Dig Monsters. I've wanted to do one of these for so long. I would say they're quite pricey. This was around nine, 10 pound. I got it in Asda. I've also seen it in Sainsbury's too. But I'm pretty sure you can get it from your local toy shop when the toy shops are open. So this is a slice and peel to find your Monji Monster. So you get like little slices in there and you slice back the jelly. So it's essentially a popsicle. I got a pink one. And you slice it back and there's a hidden monster monji monji monster in there and you don't know what color you're going to get i'm pretty sure yeah the color change surprise and this is how it is on the back so you just pop out the popsicle you slice it open then you get the one and then you get the monster inside and you can create some cool shapes because they give you stuff to create shapes with if you do want to see this then check out my tiktok and i'll put this in another video if i come back to review any more surprise toys once i've opened it to let you know what i think of it and if i would buy it again and yeah and lastly some of my favorite surprise toys that i just wanted to add into this video even though it's a top five it's now a top six is actually mini brands so not mini brand toys it's the original mini brands i have actually popped them in my micro packs bag but i'll get a few out to show you what mini brands are in case you didn't know so i won't do too much talking about the mini brands because i have mentioned it a lot in the toy section and where you can get them from and how much but they're just essentially little little mini things that you can buy in the store so course deal we've got some skipper um super chunky peanut butter and we've got some mentos in pure fresh watermelon i will show you these up close so you can actually see them and see how cool they are if you actually are into this kind of thing but these are very addictive i did quite a few balls of these so i'll show you in the next slide what they are so this so far is my mini brand collection. I can't seem to get this to work, so that's why it's like that. But I've kind of stopped on these mini brands because these are actually... Oh, because these are actually season one mini brands. I'm really hoping that we get the season two in the UK. But my favourite one is probably this super sour sparkly um, spray candy because this is one of the rarer ones because this 
is the original and this one is the sparkly one but this is my collection so far and I'm pretty happy with it I only got like a couple of doubles like these two I got doubles and these two these we don't actually have in the UK well not that I've seen anyway so that kind of was a bit of a bummer because we don't actually have those but I really love getting this one because we genuinely have this the corsa dill and the corsa dill toothpaste as well and just general ones that you would see in the shop I really love that so that's my collection so far and I'm probably going to wait now for series two to come out before I collect any more mini brands and maybe I'll get a few more toy ones we'll see but this is everything you can get in mini brands season one I go along and tick them off when I've got them and on this side you have a super rare which are like the gold ones people go so hyped for like the baby burl and the french mustard and all of that and down here we've got glow in the dark i haven't got any of those and then we have the metallic which is rare which is this one which i showed you that's why i love it and common ones there we go and you just go ahead and tick them off and, I, and while i'm here i thought i'd show you the mini brand toy i will do the same with this because they have the gold ones as well and they've got rare glow in the dark they've got a metallic range and they've got the common ones here you can get bags and trolleys and different things like this. So that is my mini brand collection. If you do want to see me open all of those, even though you have seen the inside, if you would like to see them, I did them with ASMR on TikTok. Again, my TikTok, I will leave it down below so you can go check it out. Okay, guys, so that is it for my top five slash six surprise toys so far i do have quite a few surprise toys to go through so i will go through those and we can do another top five video at a later date but if you're looking for surprise disney toys which i have done a few over on my tiktok and you want me to show you them in a bit more detail i will do that in another video so make sure you stay tuned for that if you're new please subscribe and if you like this video thumbs up i know this is a little bit different to what i usually do but i'm doing it a lot on tiktok so i thought i'd bring it to youtube and talk about it in a bit more depth here especially if you're looking for surprise toys and you're not sure where to find them and what sort of surprise toy it is so i hope you did enjoy this video and i will be back with another one if you're looking for the next disney one stay tuned for that because that will be coming too thank you so much for watching guys bye